Welcome back. I'm Keegan Cooper. It's a great day of hoops in Houghton and capping off our 10th year of the rivalry series broadcast this afternoon, NMU at Tech Men's Basketball. Now, Northern Michigan playing without its leading scorer, Max Weisbrod, for the first time this season, going up against the Huskies, who've gotten progressively healthier as the GLIAC season has gone on. A Wildcat freshman, Riley Brooks, stepped up in Weisbrod's absence. There's a triple from the top of the key to break a 2-2 tie. Later in the first half, NMU trailing by a point now. Carson, Myth, Carson Smith excuse me, shot fake, then turns on the Jets right by Dawson Norgard, up and in for two. That one puts the Cats up by one. They take a 37-32 lead into halftime. Now Smith led the way with 13 first half points. But out of the break, it was Marcus Tomashek and his show. Huskies trailing by eight in the second half. Tomashek from Norgard, it's good, and Wildcats still lead by five. Two and a half minutes later, Tomashek off the dish from Norgard again. No doubt about it, Huskies now just down by two. And you guessed it, more Tomashek, this time from Adam Hobson. And why not? That one's through. The sophomore drained five threes in the first eight minutes out of halftime as Tech took the lead and never gave it back. Now, Tom Tomashek finished with a game-high 34 points, and Dan Gerezger slammed down the exclamation point with three and a half minutes left. The Huskies avenged their January 27th loss in Marquette with an 80 to 69 win. Here's head, co here's head coach for the Huskies. I mean, I think it was a tale of two halves. I think in the first half, they kind of beat us up physically inside and, and rebounds and pounding it in. And then the second half, obviously it helps when you're making some shots, but we made their bigs guard on the perimeter, got them in some switches. Um, and then the the clash of styles kind of turned in our direction. That was definitely the loudest I, it's been when I've been at Tech and it was, it was really cool. We definitely had the whole building's energy, attention, and it was really cool. Well, both teams will face Wayne State and Saginaw Valley State on the road next weekend. And before that one got underway today, both women's teams took the floor at the SDC, NMU seeking revenge for their 71-58 loss to the Huskies last month. And was back and forth through the first half, but Caitlin Meister has the hot hand for the Huskies. Nice move there, and the game tied at 14. The same situation later in the second quarter. Tech trailing by two, and Meister powers her way through the lane to enter double figures and tie it back up. Wildcats led 31-30 at halftime, but they turned it on out of the locker room. Third quarter, McKaylee Kuhn with her left. All the way to the basket. Nice finish here. Northern leads by five. Kuhn had 16 on the afternoon. J.C. Weisbrod, another nice outing as well. There's a turnaround jumper that falls to extend the Wildcats' lead. And the Cats really got it done on the defensive end in the second half. They only allowed Michigan Tech to score 15 points on their way to a 70-45 win. Head coach Casey Thousand, how'd that one feel? We talked about it at the beginning of the year. We played two games up here, too, and I said, hey, we've already got two wins this year. Why not one more? Um, but no, it does, and it's just it's so fun and exciting, and I think our team is just thrilled that um, our seniors, are, they got the win. They got the one win against Tech, and that's what they wanted, so it was a good feeling today. Well, just like the men, both of those teams will play at Wayne State and Saginaw Valley State next weekend. To your high school scores, we'll start with boys basketball. Mackinac Island gets a win over Ojibwa Charter today, 59-39, and Marquette picks up a win over Lakeland, 81-66. And one girls basketball score for you, Mackinac Island over Ojibwa Charter, that score 59-39.